Teachers in Frankfurt were raising awareness in opposition to a bill, this is last week, opposition to a bill moving through the legislature, um, House B, uh, 563 passed the full house last week, despite strong opposition. As amendment, as amended, the bill does all of the following, um, allows, allows quote unquote public school choice, establishes education opportunity accounts and corresponding tax credits for donors. Um, it, Thirdly, it allows the use of education opportunity account money to pay tuition for private schools in three counties. And those counties of all are Jefferson County, Fayette County, and Kenton County. Um, it also establishes a, a task force to review the school funding formula. And finally, it, it uh, includes statutory language to facilitate full day kindergarten without funding, uh, which would need to be added to the to a separate budget bill. So basically they passed something that there's no money for at this time. But uh, the bill will allow will now move to the Senate, um, which it moved there today. Um, although there are no scheduled meetings of Senate of the Senate um, Education Committee this week, at, the, at this point in the session, committee meetings can be called with very little um, advance notice. We are in the twilight of this session. Um, if the Senate takes action on the provisions of House Bill 563 and make adjustments to add funding for the kindergarten provisions, the bill will require 60 votes for final passage in the House. Um, it should be noted also that the legislature could easily provide the $100 million price for full day kindergarten in the state budget and pass it clean without chaining it to school choice provisions or school vouchers. Um, so you all, that's what was just passed, just in case you all weren't clear. It was, um, or uh, school, school vouchers, which many educators of course are against, which, um, we have seen in other states the ramification of such such things. So I want you to watch the General Assembly very closely, like very, very closely. Um, these are the last days of the session. Um, and these days, the last days, the twilight of the sessions are always full with of procedural shenanigans and questionable ta tactics drama. Um, and Tuesday, is, I believe, is the, tomorrow is the last day of the 2021 session. So, and we have two days um, uh, until, you know, for that are left open for vetoes. So, remember what my, my protest sign is? When someone shows you who they are, you believe them the first time. I hope Kentuckians are listening. So we do have strong warriors out there who are doing the job of fighting for the students and our educators. We have KEA president, my personal friend, friend of the show, um, Eddie Campbell uh, said, House Bill 563 proves that legislators have no intention of meeting their constitutional obligations to fund public schools and adequately or equitably, equitably it's a sham and it's also a shame. Um, the, we need to put our children first. We need to put the future of our Commonwealth first. And it's obvious by the actions of the controlling party in Frankfurt, they don't give a darn about the real people of Kentucky. So what do you all think, Kimberly and Aaron? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'll just say, I think this is a bummer. This is a total camel's nose move, right? So they want to just start the process, you know, these tax credits, which will basically allow for private entities to, um, you know, to get involved with school funding. So taking pub public funds uh, away from public schools and putting them into private schools. It's like a, a bit of, it's like a multi-step process to do it, but it will work. 
and it will well, allow them to, at least in those three counties, uh, move uh, public funds, uh, you know, uh, out of the a public system and put it into the private system. And that is, you know, that's just not what taxpayer funds should be for, in my right. in my view, right? And can I add one more thing? In 2018, educators. Um, all of us who were in our red protesting, we told you that the what that party was doing, what Governor Bevin was attempting to do at that time was just the beginning. Many Kentuckians didn't believe us. Many Kentuckians thought that we were being dramatic. But we're seeing exactly what happening in right now that we told you would happen. And this is not over. There are so many things this party has been attempting to do with the with the help of ALEC. And this is just the beginning. This was an ALEC bill before. And so it's passed. It wasn't written for the people. It was written by a private conservative group who writes policies so they can benefit them. So you all, it's happening. Vote accordingly. Um, I would like to say as far as um, there, there's many points I would like to make on the information that Denise has given to us, but one of the things that stuck out to me um, working within the public school system in Jefferson County, um, I didn't have a paid position, but for two years I was the um, membership chair of the PTA and I was the spokesperson for the PTA. So I, I saw this failure to really include parents. We have a lot, we have more grandparents taking care of children now. Um, I saw the disconnect from the education system to the parents and grandparents or whomever else, and especially the children. Um, although my daughter, another point that I would like to make and what Denise was talking about also is that uh, to the uh, private schools here in Jefferson County, my daughter was a graduate of Sacred Heart Academy and uh, there was not a lot of monies uh, available for me uh, to pay that tuition and, and a lot of cost. And, and I mean, it was just astronomical, let me tell you. But the archdiocese did give about a thousand dollars every semester uh, to help me out. Uh, my feelings are before we start working with the private schools, let's get the public schools together and let's find out a way that we can include those parents and those grandparents in uh, moving forward on, on our education system. Uh, because right now, Kentucky um, doesn't have a very good reputation when it comes to education. Uh, a lot of people are wanting to leave the state um, just because they want their children to have a better education. Um, I graduated from uh, public school. Uh, my son graduated from public school. However, uh, also this full day kindergarten deal and, and passing laws that you don't have any money for, that's almost like what they say, you know, you're writing checks, you're behind cash. So uh, those are the things that I would like to point out. It seems ludicrous. Um, I can't wrap my head around it very much. And uh, it just seems like more of a cover up of something more nefarious going on. Mm -hmm.